Hi guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. Welcome back. I know it's been a little while. We are going to do one giant haul because I'm behind on those. But just a super quick update, I am moving. So I'm not gonna be easy to contact in the next few weeks after this video goes up. So I'm gonna do this quick haul. Um, not quick, it's gonna be a little longer, but um, I will be coming back after that. I just kinda need to sort out my moving <laughs> to a whole new state first. Um, but again, Thank you guys for always sticking with me. I know it's been a while since my last video. Let's get to it. So let's just start with Blu-rays. As you guys know, I already have the Sailor Moon movies. Please ignore the fact that I made my own slipcover. It's just for my own amusement. Um, here is everything. You guys have se basically seen all of these as I've been collecting them over the past couple of years. But the only reason I am bringing them up, obviously, is because of the latest edition that came out earlier this year. And fourth season, finally, finally, Sailor Moon Sailor Stars complete fifth season. So, um, yeah, I was just really excited to finally get this one. I even tweeted about it. Once again, great quality on these discs, but disc art themselves looks the same. <laughs> I'm kind of amazed they didn't um, put more art considering just how much art like this series has. Um, again, just very happy to own them, but I do want to kind of compare to like the old movie posters and how cool they were. Just like, really lovely stuff. So yeah, happy, happy, happy to have Sailor Moon. I now have all of it to the point where I can sit down and do a full rewatch, which I'm very excited about. That'll have to happen after my move though. Um, literally I'm leaving in like three days here. <laughs> very, very quick haul with a lot of stuff. Next up, continuing with the collecting theme, we have, of course, this copy of City Hunter, which you guys have seen previously, but we also have the rest of City Hunter that I collected Actually, maybe at the beginning of this year or so that I finished it. Honestly, the hardest thing for me was getting number three and 91 um, because they were out of print a lot of the time. Not out of print, but not available. Um, and then I finally got those. And then suddenly it was part two that went out of print. So it kind of felt weird to talk about it right at the moment that all of that happened. Um, and I also still needed to pick up City Hunter Shinjuku Private Eyes, the movie. Now that I have that, I feel like it's okay to talk about this in its totality. Um, the other reason I hadn't talked too much about these previously was I wanted to watch some of it uh, before I spoke. And honestly, like, this was a recommendation from my friend Gigi over at Anime Palooza, as well as my friend Blaze over on his channel, Blaze V. Check them out, they're both amazing. Um, but yeah, I've been actually sitting and going through episodes of City Hunter. And you know what? This was a great recommendation. This is so fun. I really love the super blue night skies that a lot of these episodes go through. Um, I really love the characters. It's really been pleasant. I can't say too much about it because, again, I've only gone in on a few episodes. Just like a nice lunchtime watch once in a while but I finally, finally own all of it, so um, I do need to go through watching the rest of these at some point. Here is two, and I think this going out of print was kind of startling for people because I think a lot of people were hoping that season two would get a big boosted all-in-one like season one did. Uh, however, it did not. And I think that caught people by surprise, even though Discotech said on a couple of occasions that they wouldn't be doing that. So yeah, so I, I got this and then was really lazy about getting the rest of them. Uh, but again, season two, 63 episodes. Um, maybe it was just too much to put all in one set? I can't really tell. God, this cover's cute. Um, this cover's cute. I really like the art on this. So yeah. I just wanted to show the art because it's it's so 80s anime lovely, you know? 
here is three. This was the set, I think. It was this one that I had a hard time getting my hands on. And then I finally did such lovely art. Actually, um, watching these episodes got me interested. <laughs> got me interested in looking at the manga as well. And you guys check out the manga because it has some seriously gorgeous illustrations. Um, just a very nice foundation to start from. I can't believe how many episodes there are of this. Here is 91. This was the other one that I had trouble getting my hands on. Again, just lovely. Little easy set there. So yeah, I, I don't have extending opinions on this yet just because I haven't watched more of it. But what I have seen, I really like. Movie and TV collection. Um, one of the reasons this was recommended to me by so many people was uh, because of my love of Lupin, and this kind of does feel a bit a bit in the realm of like halfway between a Lupin special and a noir film and a detective sitcom, <laughs> I guess, which are all things I love, so that's fun. This cover's really cool. Beautiful uh, colors on that. And then finally, Shinjuku Private Eyes, which I haven't seen yet, heard good things. Always thought this cover was neat. And of course, the final disc. So yeah, that's another one that I can finally say I'm done collecting that one. I have it all, possibly until something new comes up. <laughs> we'll see in the future. Next up, here's one that should be very familiar on my channel right now, Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust, the motion picture, the Blu-ray. Obviously I used my DVD to talk about it in my last video which is my Halloween video. Thank you guys so much for watching it, and it's it'll be advertised somewhere in here if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, watching Bloodlust again made me go, man, I really should get the Blu-ray for that, um, just so I have another viewing option for it, because I love it so much. And this Blu-ray is great. It looks fantastic, very similar in quality to the DVD. Um, also has the same kind of extra features like the uh, television spots, the behind-the-scenes feature at the storyboard comparison like you guys saw in my video. Um, so you're not losing anything, but you are gaining a, a way to watch it on Blu-ray if you get this version. And it's worth having. To me, it's, it's one of the anime classics. Like, definitely one of those films you should see at least once, especially at this time of year. Next up... You guys remember when I picked up Dimos just on a whim, just a, I like this, I like these characters? Well, I also felt the need to collect Voltas V and Combatler V, and basically I got these back when um, some stuff was announced to go out of print with Discotech, and I was worried about these going out of print, because I actually don't know how long they've been up. Um, Voltas V has this rounded, uh, Slip cover, so maybe it, it'll be around a little longer. I've not sat down and started these yet, but I do know that from what I saw of Dimos, that I'm probably gonna like them. So, again, another <laughs> I just need to complete the set and keep that in my collection kind of affair. Anyway, here is the cover for Voltus V in the inner art. disc art. I, I know I constantly say, like, I, I don't have that many mecha titles, but I'm starting to get <laughs> quite a few, especially as these classic ones. They always catch me off guard how interested I am in them. And Combatler V. She's so cute. <laughs> I just like her design. Here we go. Here's everybody. And this disc art. I really like how these look. I like that I have the whole, I think they're called the Romance Trio. Um, at some point I do need to sit down and watch them all and, and see the hubbub because these are well loved. Um, I do like Dymos, so that'll be fun when I get to it in the future. Next up we're gonna go into a lot of thrifting, a lot of half price books, a lot of I found these quite randomly for very cheap titles. This is A Good Librarian Like a Good Shepherd. I don't know anything about this. I, I've never even heard anyone speak on this one. 
Um, this was just incredibly cheap at half price books one day and the cover looked cute <laughs> and I thought why not from what I gathered reading this it's kind of like a slice of life uh, ghost story but I don't know to what extent so just thought the cover was cute thought the premise was interesting I got this for so cheap. Does anybody know this one? You guys always know them, obviously, but does anyone recommend this one? Have thoughts on this one? Let me know down in the comments. Next up, one of my last days thrifting in Idaho, I found Liz and the Bluebird. And I had heard such lovely, lovely things about this one that it was always on my to watch list. So when I saw it and it was literally like a couple of dollars, I said, oh, that's coming home with me. I'm getting that. Watched it like the same night. <laughs> Picked it up. Um, and this is, I guess, part of the Sound Euphorium anime. Uh, again, I haven't watched through it all because for a long time I was like waiting to pick it up. And it's kind of like difficult to get. I don't know all the details. But anyway, this is two of the, I guess, more of the side characters out of that. And this is kind of, in a way, they're very gentle, very beginning love story. And it's very gentle and sweet. And it's one of those films I think you just kind of need to see for yourself to fully grasp. And it has this beautiful fairy tale called Liz and the Bluebird within it with this kind of watercolor wash animation that I just was delighted with. It's a, it's a world I'd like to live in. <laughs> but yeah, if, if that piques your interest in any way, shape, or form, definitely watch this and I'm pretty sure it's still online like easy to watch on some streaming sites. I'll double check for you guys but yeah listen the bluebird high on the recommend list. All right back when I got this Kino's Journey I said I need to get this Kino's Journey. This is the older one this is I think the 2017 newer one. I don't know what it is about these covers I always get them mixed up. Why is my brain like this? But anyway, I finally have this one. Of course, don't have to worry about this Funimation digital code anymore. Um, let's see. I want to say this is the newer one. Was it? I think so. You guys will correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm talking about Dongon Rampa 2, this has to be it. So yeah, this is the essentials. Um, here is the inner art. Gorgeous, gorgeous art. Yeah, and I started watching this one back when it was airing, and I think I got a few episodes in and told myself, yeah, I'll totally watch the rest of that later. Um, didn't. <laughs> but I can now that I have it. Why do I feel the need to keep these? I, what is with me as a collector? I don't know why. It's like a little bit of history, but there's the code. <laughs> kind of a bummer those don't work anymore. But, yes, now I have both. I really want to watch this again. Um, it's been a long, long time. Kino's Journey's great, um, especially if you like kind of road trip traveling uh, stories and affairs. This is this is a fun one. Next up, one that I've been meaning to get and bought right away when I saw it, maybe for too much money. I'm not quite sure. Princess Knight. So of course, Tezuka famous Princess Knight and I've never watched Princess Knight. So I knew for a fact I had to get it when I saw it. I don't even remember what I spent on these. Definitely probably more than whatever the sale price is on uh, Crunchyroll. But it was one of those I could buy it and have it right now affairs. <laughs> it was a few months ago, I don't remember. But yeah, these come in a part one and a part two. And there's nothing extra special about the discard. It's just very set disc art, this pattern. I don't know why. I, I think I would have gone with more imagery, but yep, 26 episodes of the classic series. What's funny is um, part of this was like restored, um, and then parts of it are the unrestored sections of it. So when you watch it, it's a little choppy, but hey, at least, you know, you still get Princess Knight. I'm kind of amazed we haven't seen a Blu-ray release or something. And if, if there was one, I'm not familiar with it. You guys will let me know if there was. 
Next up, I was thrilled when I saw these, and I'm also finding all three at the same time was really nice. Giant Robo, the animation, The Day the Earth Stood Still. One of my all-time favorite titles. I love the sentence, The Day the Earth Stood Still. So I've always wanted to have these, just for that alone. Also, the animation in these is gorgeous. Um, I think you guys might know of the big collector set that's the eye. That's what this image is. And a uh, little beat up, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh my god, old Media Blasters card. But yeah, was very, very happy to find these. I only started watching the beginnings of each disc just to test the discs. I haven't seen it in full uh, yet. But the animation in this is killer. It's so cool. Definitely cool. <laughs> Fall of 2005. Wait, hold on. I like looking at these. Let's let's look at what was coming out in fall of 2005. Oh my gosh. Oh my goddess. That's another one on my list. I, sh I really should own those by now, and I don't. Um, Grenadier, Suki Show, all sorts of fun things. Oh my god. And <laughs> Kekko Common. Yup. Returns. That's funny. Uh, that's only funny because recently Discotech announced that they were bringing Gecko Common to Blu-ray, I think. Um, yeah. Not much to add to these. Um, again, from what I saw, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous animation. And just really clean animation, too. Really smooth. And Volume 3. Not much to add to that. But, again, always delighted when I can get a full set just in one go. It's really hard for me to collect lately where it's like, oh, I'll buy Volume 3 and then find the rest later. I think I've just been spoiled by how good a lot of the uh, DVD and thrift shops are here, because a lot of people seem to turn in collections that I can then pick through. Okay, two left, and of course these came up <clears throat> right when I was, like, not expecting to find anything. Captain Harlock! Space Pirate, the complete TV series. Uh, yeah, I've always wanted this DVD set, never had it. Was shocked to find it and get it for so cheap. A lot of these are coming up on eBay because of the Blu-ray release, and I still plan at some point to get the Blu-ray release. But I heard that the DVD set and the Blu-ray look kind of different, and my curiosity for that made me go, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely <laughs> splurge on the DVD set. Um, I've also been watching some episodes of this. I already know Captain Harlock. I've already watched it before. It's still great in my book. <laughs> I'm really curious to get a hold of the Blu-ray and see if I can tell the differences. And last, but certainly not least, Devil Man, the complete series. Um, I was out, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago, and just looking through, had turned in some stuff at Half Price Books and wanted to use, you know how you get a receipt with like money for stuff you turn in. Wanted to use it. And it was also their 20% off sale day. So I got this set for $15. And I only remember that because I tweeted about it. But yeah, classic, classic Devil Man. One of those series that I wasn't originally going to go out of my way to get, but finding it so randomly and in such a nice condition, like these discs look super clean. Um, Whoever turned this in, I'm sorry you turned in your out-of-print Devil Man, but it is my new little treasure along with Captain Harlock. So yeah, this might have even came from the same collector. <laughs> I always feel like when I collect here, or when I collect thrifting wise and stuff, or go to DVD shops around here, um, I feel like I'm stealing out of someone's collection. It's been like that for the past few years. Anyway, that is all for right now. All of these have to go back into packing boxes, like I had said earlier, so I have to go do that. But let me know down in the comments which ones of these are your favorites, what do you think are great finds, have you guys been collecting, like, all of the City Hunters, or do you finally have all of the Sailor Moons? Just a really great, weird selection of stuff here. Um, it might be a while until my next video, like I said, I have to get all set up. but. I just wanted to say hi to all my subscribers. You guys rock. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You guys are such a light in my life just for talking to me about anime because it's one of my passions. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. 
uh, probably more closer to the end of the year than anything. Have a great time, be safe out there, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys!